Hello there, welcome back to my channel and welcome to the second edition of Hairspray Trials. If you're not aware, Aussie Instant Freeze Hairspray has been reformulated and the new formula is in one word, horrible. If you have not seen my video all about that, I will link it in the description box below. Click where it says more. I will also link my first trial video where I tested out two other hairsprays. And in that video, I had actually pretty good success. But today's video um, is going to be a different story. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. Now let's get started. So as you can see, I've sped things up for this video because I don't want to belabor it. So I'm starting off with dry hair. When my hair was wet, I put in two of my standard products. I put in the Stylus Liquid Sheer Remedy, and then I used the Catwalk Root Boost today. So that is where we're at. I have no other additional hold. I have not yet put in my styling wax. So I do want to give these two hairsprays the same shot that I gave the others. Now I have already tested these out. I already have my thoughts, but I have not done the stand-up test like I did for the other two. So we'll do that. So the first hairspray I'm going to share with you is the Tresemme Freeze Hold Hairspray. It says 24 hour frizz control and it gives it a five on the hold scale. On the back of the can, it says this hairspray delivers our strongest all day control, freezing your look in place with mega firm hold. Our water free formula, hallelujah, right? That's the problem with the new Aussie instant freeze hairspray. So our water free formula is fast drying and helps keep frizz and flyaways at bay for 24 hours. Your secret weapon for nailing even the hardest to hold styles. So that all sounds amazing and sounds like exactly what we're looking for. So I was excited to test this out. And by the way, all of these hairsprays I'm testing have been recommended by you all. So there is a fan base for every single product that I am trying and I don't want to step on anybody's toes in these videos. So if this is your favorite hairspray, then great, keep using it. But let me just go ahead and do the sticking up test here and then I'll get to my thoughts. All right, so what I did in the last video is I just took a section of hair like this and we're gonna hit it with the hairspray and we're gonna see if it holds the hairspray in place. Okay, um, and it's not yet dry. It's still wet and okay, it's pretty much dry. All right, now I'll give this back section another chance like I did the other hairspray. And all right, so on the second try, uh, we did get some hair to stick up, so that's good. Um, I'm trying not to touch it too much, but it is still wet. So this does not dry very quickly as the other two did. So that is the first thing about it. I don't care for the scent of this. <laughs> and I, I do feel like there are some instances where you can buy a hairspray and you get an old bottle, you don't know it, and it smells horrible. But I feel like this one, I haven't liked the smell of Tresemme products in a long time. So aside from the scent on this not being my favorite, I used this in my hair and I could not get my style, even five minutes after I thought I had sprayed it all, my style kept moving and falling already. This did not hold my style even over a couple of hours, let alone all day. By the end of the day, my hair was completely flat, even after putting in my Enjoy Dry Wax, which is a really good hold product. I had, I mean, it looked kind of like this, which isn't bad, but that was not how my style started off. And I felt like I had to use a lot of hairspray to try and get it to kind of freeze in place, at least initially. So I didn't find that it had all day hold. I feel like this stays wetter on the hair, even though it is a water-free formula. I don't know, <laughs> something in there does stay wet longer and I don't really care for the scent. Now, the second trial, another favorite of several of you is the Got To Be Glued Blasting Freeze 
spray. Okay, let's just go ahead and I'm gonna do a, a little test here. Again, I have actually not done this test. So we're gonna go ahead and do this. And I'm just curious just to see what this does. Okay, so I have a section of hair here. Okay, not too big of a section. And let's just see what this does, okay? Okay, so um, a little better kind of hold out there than the Tresemme, but not great. It is dry, so it did dry faster. All right, I'm gonna take this back section and spray it again. And we have a little, again, a little more hold, but it did kind of almost immediately flop down. Um, let's see, it's still slightly wet. This one, I feel like almost has no detectable scent. So that is a positive. And on the back, it says, freeze that style into place. We've got to be blasting freeze hairspray. Spray through hair carelessly for that messy look or twist tips into spikes for outrageous hold that will last until your next shampoo. Only for stuck up styles and extreme rock hard hair. I think that's kind of funny, but that's kind of the essence of the brand. Okay, so this, that second section has stayed up. This front section is almost all the way down. Now, when I used this, again, I felt like I had to use quite a bit. And the sprayer on this, I mean, blast is kind of right. You know, there is a lot of air that comes out with it. But that aside, this feels so dirty. Like this right here, it feels like I need to go wash my hair. So the first time I used this, I got done with my hair and I said, I hate that hairspray. <laughs> my hair felt dirty. And again, I did not feel like for all of that product in there that it actually looked good. And it did not keep my hair in place all day. It was better than the Tresemme for sure, but I did not feel like this did a good job of keeping everything glued in place. Now, if I had gone over my hair, as it says, you know, twisting your style and really gluing it in place, I can't imagine how my hair would have felt at the end of the day, let alone the next day. So definitely, I did not even want to try second day hair with this hairspray. So now in the true spirit of things, because, you know, I want to be fair, I am going to go ahead and finish my style. And I think that will help you see all of the things that I just talked about. All right, so I'm going to go in with my Enjoy Dry Wax. And I'm going to put this through my hair, okay? and just kind of get my style set. And last time I just chose one to show you for my finished look because I actually liked both of those. But this one, I'll go ahead and show you both because I feel like you'll be able to see more clearly what I'm talking about. Okay, so the Enjoy Dry Wax does so much of the styling work for me. And I feel like if you're somebody who doesn't even want to use hairspray, you could just do the Enjoy Dry Wax. And it keeps all the texture throughout the hair and body. But I like to just do my hair once and kind of set it and let it go for the rest of the day. So uh, let's, let me just, I'll do maybe this half of the hair with Tresemme. Oh, I hate the smell. Okay. So, I mean, I go to, you know, kind of piece the hair and there's like no hold there whatsoever. And through the top here, I can spray it and piece it and we'll let it dry. But I feel like with this hairspray, you cannot touch your hair and you certainly can't go into any windy areas or else it will, all of the hold will be gone. So I'm going to just leave that there. Um, I'll try and kind of piece this here. Okay. We're going to, we're going to try. I'm going to try to give a little bit of lift here. Okay. 
Okay, so you can see how much I have sprayed on just this section, trying to get it to kind of stay separated. Okay, so I'm gonna leave it right there. All right, and on this section, I'll go in with the blast spray. And by the way, I always feel like when I'm spraying the trust me, I'm eating hairspray. Ugh. Okay, so this one has better hold for sure. All right, so we've got pretty good hold with the got to be glued, right? But the other thing with the sprayer is it's such a wide spray. It sprays all out like this, and I find it really hard to get targeted areas without spraying the whole head, which might be why the whole hair feels so dirty. All in all, between the two sides, I'll let this one dry a little bit. Okay, so this, like I said, all I have to do is go like this and it's basically gone. So the texture is not there anymore, only if I kind of squeeze it and put it into place. This side, so I can, do you see how it keeps the texture even though I am flicking the hair. So the got to be between these two, it definitely does a much better job of holding the style in place, but it feels very heavy, very dirty in the hair, and it is definitely not something that I actually even want to use again. Now that tresemme, here is the other section, you know, that we used that in, and then versus kind of this section with the got to be. Do you see how soft and basically the, the hairspray is gone from that section? If I go in with the got to be, and again, spraying, I don't know if you can even see that. Hopefully you can. <laughs> I'm closing my eyes. So you can see I can actually piece that hairspray into place. And then when I go through, it does hold a little better, but it's, oh, okay. I'm gonna stop there because I already feel like I've got helmet head. So in conclusion, my hair does not look terrible right now, but again, my issue with both of these is how the hair holds or doesn't hold through the rest of the day. So if either of these is your personal favorite, then I am so glad for you. Just keep using these and you'll be happy. But for me, as holding it up to the standard of Aussie Instant Freeze Hairspray, I do not feel like either of these even comes close. And they're not ones that I'm actually going to be reaching for. Check out my previous video because both of those I have actually continued to reach for and try. We had rain last week and I'm happy to say both of them, but especially the freeze it did really well in humid conditions. So check out that video and continue to watch for more hairspray trials. If you wish to leave your favorite hairspray down in the comment section below, please do that. I have quite a list going already, several more that I purchased and am testing out. Thank you as always so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.